Okay, we're going to go over printing out simula uh, spot color separations in Adobe Photoshop. Um, use this design right here. Um, I'm going to press the tab button, which is going to take everything away so you can get a better look at it. Okay. It's, it's a, what is that, three brown. It's a three color print on a gold shirt. Okay, hit the tab button again, we'll bring it back. Okay, to start with, if you do not have the channels box open, go up to Windows, go down to Channels, make sure Channels is has a check mark beside it because all the separations are done in, in Channels. Okay, once that's open, go back to your Channels palette here. And you'll see that the eyeball is turned on on everything to include the RGB channels and the shirt channel. We only want the eyeball on the channels we want to print. So we're going to turn off the RGB. We're going to turn off the shirt color. The only thing we have left is the royal blue, the white, the brown, and the black. Okay, so once that is done, the, in order to print it, we're going to go over here to File print preview and it'll bring up a box like this now in order to set your your page size go to page setup and we have it on a super uh, a3 um, so go ahead and pick the, the size that you want you know in order to you know because sometimes it's a tabloid um, you know you you're, you'll be familiar with with the settings in your, in your computer. So we're going to go to tabloid and we're going to hit OK. Alright, now the next thing we're going to do is, and I will be sizing this image down to fit this paper, but for right now what we need to do is we need to click on labels and what labels is going to do is it's going to print out the name of the channel. It's going to say royal blue, it's going to say white, it's going to say brown, it's going to say black. Okay. You want to print registration marks. That'll put the registration marks on all four corners. You know, obviously, you know what registration marks are for. I use center crop marks. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I like using them. And what that'll do is that'll place center crop marks on the center of the image, up and down, and the center of the image to the left and the right. Okay. Once that is done, there's no half tones. This is all 100% spot colors. At that point, you know, you hit print. Once you hit print. Um, it will print out every each individual channel for you. And right now we're going to resize this down. And the image size of this um, currently is 16 inches. I think we're going to make it. Um, hmm. And the thing is, you can make this by resizing the image. You can resize it to anything you want. If you want to make it 12 inches wide and 14 inches high, that's up to you too. You can go ahead and do that. And the way you get to that is you go up to image, image size, and it brings up this box here. It's at 300 resolution. That's fine. Keep it there. Adjust the width, and like say we'll make it 12, and automatically adjust the height. So at that point, you hit OK. It will size it down. Okay, now it's sized down. I'm going to hit save real quick because I like to save my work as I go. Um, now we'll go back to print preview. And we're going to center the, make sure the center image in, in there is, is also checked. Um, I want to move up to a, a super A3 size, which is um, a 13 by 19 sheet. And that's the way my printer's set up. So your, your printer might be set up different. But, you know, you should be f pretty familiar. And right now, like you, see, you can see the center crop marks. These little lines right here, these are the labels. Center crop mark, center crop mark, the side center crop marks. And, you know, your registration marks are right here on the sides. And you see all that. That's a good indicator that your whole image is going to go on there. And like I said, at this point, um, you can print. You can go, in and go ahead and hit print. And you'll be done. And it should print everything out. And, you know, looking at the channels, we've got plenty of overlap on everything. Everything's in, in line. Now, remember, the eyeball needs to be put on 
for every channel that you want it to print. If you put the eyeball into the shirt collar and print it, you're going to get a solid black sheet of paper. It's going to look much like this. Um, you definitely don't want that because that's a waste of ink. It's a waste of film. Um, feel free to check out my website. Um, my website's GaryRudisell.com. Um, we have some other tutorials um, on YouTube. Please subscribe. Um, there's a lot of other interesting tutorials on how to do separations in, in Photoshop. All right, thank you. See you next time.